Hello guys, welcome back. This is your weekly dose of engine startup. Let's start with one of the most legendary Ferrari, the 250 GTO from 1962. Now, here is an engine startup of the 1968 GTB4. Next car is the Ferrari Dino 246 GTS from 1972, named after Enzo Ferrari's son, Dino Ferrari. Now let's hear some startup from the most legendary Ferraris of the 80s. Next car is the most iconic sport car from the 80s, the Testarossa. Now let's take a look at the 1987 Ferrari F40. It used to be Ferrari's fastest, most powerful, and most expensive car for sale. And next car is an even more powerful version of the F40, making 691 horsepower. Here is the Ferrari 348 TB from 1990. Here is the Ferrari 456 GT from 1992. Let's hear a few more amazing iconic Ferrari from that decade. Now let's take a look at the early 2000s Ferrari. Here is probably the most famous Ferrari, named after the founder of the brand. The Ferrari 612 Scaglietti received heavy criticism for its design, but let's hear how it sounds.
The F430 was the most sophisticated and thrilling car of its kind yet to emerge from Marinello. The Ferrari 430 Scuderia is one of the most desirable recent Ferrari, with a production reduced to just over 2,000 cars. Designed by Ferrari's Formula One engineers, the 599XX is a track-only iteration of the 599 GTB. The Ferrari 599 GTO is ultimate incarnation of the Ferrari flagship. It is one of the finest hypercars ever made. The F12 Berlinetta is a V12-powered two-seater coupe. Let's hear how it sounds. The Ferrari La Ferrari, or just La Ferrari if you will, is the apogee of Ferrari's current road car program. The FXXK is Ferrari's research and development vehicle based on the brand's first hybrid sports car, the La Ferrari. Now, let's hear a few more amazing recent Ferrari supercars. With a twin-turbocharged V8 engine, the 488 Pista cranks the power all the way up to 710 bhp. One look at the Ferrari F8 Tributo immediately reveals how its designers focused on aerodynamics. But let's hear how its twin turbocharged V8 sounds. The Monza is a roofless and windowless supercar based on the 812 Superfast. Only 499 will be built.
The Ferrari SF90 Stradale is the first plug-in hybrid electric vehicle from Ferrari. The Ferrari Roma supplanted the Portofino as the brand's most affordable model. It's the first ever front-engine V8 coupe ever sold by Ferrari. And that's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next episode.